right, let's talk about GLP-1 mismanagement pitfalls. These are some of the things that patients fall into and how they end up with some of the really bad side effects and the really bad issues with GLP-1. So number one, the biggest thing I'm seeing from people that come to me and they're saying their GLP is not working anymore. When I ask what happened is they started losing weight. They were doing great in the beginning on the low dosages, but at some point their weight loss stalled. And their provider started increasing their dose every month. And for two, three, four months in a row, their dose was increased and they didn't lose any weight. So what happened? When you ask them about their activity level, they'll tell you their activity level stalled and got worse over that period of time. And why did it get worse? Because they were fatigued, they felt like they were losing muscle, they felt like they were getting really tired and they had no energy to go to the gym. These are all red flags for GLP-1 being done improperly. These are a great example of how you don't want to do GLP-1. When somebody's weight has stalled, that could be for a lot of different reasons. Is we really need to be tracking body composition and not weight for GLP-1s. I always urge people to use in-body DEXA scan or some consistent body composition measurement where you can see somebody's subcutaneous fat and visceral fat are coming down and that muscle mass is not coming down. In fact, as soon as the muscle mass starts to come down, that's when you want to avoid increasing dosages because as you increase dosages as the muscle mass is coming down, that process will accelerate and get worse. That's a good time to put the brakes on the GLP-1, either hold that dose or decrease the dose and you want to make sure the patient can continue with physical activity. Physical activity is very important. Not just do you build insulin sensitivity when you build muscle mass, so exercising is very important for that regard, but also you want to create a metabolic environment that isn't becoming a slow down basal metabolic rate. As your basal metabolic rate comes down from GLP-1s, when the dosages go too high, that means you're not burning any calories at rest and you're actually not going to really lose any weight because you're not burning the calories. You want to keep your basal metabolic rate up and you want to exercise so that you're doing that. Then the third thing you want to make sure your patients are doing is getting enough plant-based fiber because plant-based fiber is nature's GLP-1, right? So plant-based fiber puts stretch on the GI tract lumen. That stretch on the GI tract lumen gives the same satiety signals to the brain or the same fullness signals to the brain that GLP-1s do. So plant-based fiber, also very important. So these are things that your provider should be doing instead of just raising the dose. If you're losing your activity, if you're getting more tired, you're getting fatigued, you're not losing weight, you've stalled on the GLP-1 and your provider is increasing the dosages, ask them instead. They should be asking you if you're increasing your activity, if you're increasing your plant-based fiber. And if you can't do those things, then you shouldn't raise the dose. You should actually keep it or actually even decrease the dose and in a way where make sure you're maximizing the treatment.